Yeah. But yeah, look, Stephen, unfortunate, but they're doing the right thing. Listen, it's not just the MCU this is affecting, obviously, it's affecting DC as well and yes. Warner Brothers. And another bit of bad news, certainly for Ezra Miller, John, the Flash movie delayed because of the coronavirus. Now, I'm not laughing at that, obviously. Um, it's obviously a serious subject, but listen, this guy in this film, this project and that character have had the worst luck since Gambit. Uh, really, you know, uh, and, the uh, and the mutants as well. So, um, you know, um, this film, um, I didn't know this. I don't know if we mentioned this, John. Maybe we did and I just can't remember. But this film was supposed to start production at the end of April and the beginning of May. Hmm. I can't remember talking about that. I think um, we did. Thank possibly. You. you know, I just, you know, all the news that was going on around about that time, um, I just can't remember. But um, basically, um, I think it's, um, I don't know if it's, uh, it's a stunt coordinator, actually, Um Eunice Huthert uh, has confirmed that the, the next project was supposed to be The Flash, but they don't know. I didn't know. coordinate a confirmed yeah. the movie's delayed. You're getting sacked. Just getting on, man. <laughs> Warner Brothers, get your shit together. Listen, um, they say that Eunice. the project um, that was Names due to child, start uh, was The Flash, John, but they're yes. not sure what is happening now with that. Um, so, what's your take on this? Obviously, um, Ezra Miller, he must be thinking he's cursed, you know. Um, he was, uh, I think it was maybe this time last year that we were kind of laughing and joking that he was pushing for, you know, the film to be brought forward just so yeah. he could appear in it because of his contract was nearly up, wasn't it? Yeah, it was it? June, yeah. He was, um, so, had to get it right, uh, the script wrote, script, the script wrote, yeah. <laughs> combining two different words here. Yeah. He had to get the script wrote for June last year so he could then portray the character going forward. His contract was up. He was in a, a bit of a tussle with, I think, the directors in the studio. They wanted to do a lighter tone thing like what we'd seen in Shazam and perhaps even Aquaman. He wanted to do something different, a darker turn of the character. I think with the subsequent success of Shazam doing his thing and then Joker doing his thing darker, I think that maybe <coughs> one thing's... Maybe they've seen the way that... I'm seeing the success of Joker. That was way before June. Or way after June. This was way before Joker's success. Yeah. But I think they realised that they had something special and that gave them more creative freedom to allow him to do his own thing. Perhaps the script's just good as well. I don't know. I've not read it. But look, it's a shame. What was my takes on it? First and foremost, I can't believe someone had the temerity to call their son or daughter Eunice Hoofer. <laughs> Eunice? What sort of name is that, man? Hoofer? It's a very old-fashioned name. It's bizarre. Yeah. It's like Ethel. What is going on there? You don't call people that these days. That's an 18th century name. And the fact it's a stunt coordinator would suggest they're not that old. Yeah. A stunt coordinator's breaking this sort of news as well. It's very, very strange. It's all strange. Stephen, you're right though. It's very unlucky for this movie. It's had a turbulent path to production. But again, you have to play the cautious card. You have to do the right thing. Keep people safe in the midst of this whole pandemic nonsense. Yeah. Then when it all blows over, hopefully, and everyone's back and ready to go then we can get good old Ezra in to do his role as what's his name again the actual character's name I know, I know it's the Flash but what's the actual guy's name um, Barry Allen Barry um, Allen that's the one he I'll can come back I'll save you there John I nearly forgot myself but yeah, um, yeah because he's I, a great actor and I don't yeah, want to see him just actor. doing cameos in the, the TV series as a crossover thing you know I think that was a, a nice little trick you know it was it was a nice little sort of easter egg if you like but um, he's He's too good for that, you know, to be making cameos. I don't mean appearing in television series, you know. that I actually enjoy the television series. I think it's very good for what it is. Um, but I do want to see this character appearing on the big screen. You he's know, been he's a, a bit of a joke as well, Steve. Yeah. He's been a figure of fun. He's been played for laughs in the, the Justice League and whatnot. And I he's think such it's a, just because he's, he's the youngest, yeah, you know. I think he's it's a better just, actor than yeah. that, though. The guy's amazing. Yeah. It's just... It, Total chameleon, what he does with Credence Bearbones. It was one of the bits degrees. I did enjoy in the Justice League was obviously the, the Superman yeah. and, and, and Flash confrontation. <laughs> that was incredible. It was so that funny. That scene was the best thing. It was so movie. funny and obviously Henry Cavill's look on his face as well, just looking at him as if... I can see you, bitch. You know, what are you doing? You know? Yeah. But uh, listen, I'm a son I, of I am sure we are going to get more information about this project um, over the next few months, whether or not it will be closed down for good. Hopefully not. I hope, you know, for Ezra Miller's sake, you know, I think he's a very likeable guy. Um, he seems ideal for that role as well. Yeah. From what, when we've only seen him very briefly, you know, and obviously the Donna Justice and the Justice League, I don't think we've had enough of him. I think he needs his own film um, and hopefully he does get it. But listen, we'll move on to our final topic.